what's going on guys welcome back to the channel good morning good afternoon today I am going to do a walk around video of the four wheel camper it's right here behind me uh, I just got to a spot down in camp at for the weekend uh, it is called Elkmont and it is in the Smoky Mountains this camp spot is pretty amazing if you can look behind me here it's right on the river There's none in front of me. There are a few to the right, but they're kind of far away. But this video here is going to be basically just for the four wheel camper. So we'll go over everything here on the outside, uh, suspension modifications I did to the truck, and then we'll pop it up and go inside. And I'll show you the inside. So let's start with the outside. All right, guys. So starting on the outside, uh, I do have a shell model, so it is pretty basic. Um, basically you have one big window here on this side and then if you walk around so it's got the mounting brackets for the jacks that I took off it's got some new amber lights coming around the back so same we just got the door another amber light and then a white LED light up top that's super super bright um, and then coming to this side it is just plain so which i kind of like because i want to be able to mount maybe some max tracks uh shovel something like that on the outside and then coming to the front here still the same i will hop up on the truck here and show you the roof real quick uh, it does have solar and a max fan so let me jump up there and i'll show you that real quick all right guys so on top here again it's got this kind of roof rack system that's just built out of square aluminum. It does have a Renogy 100 watt solar panel and the Max Air fan. Uh, that is the one that is vented so you can leave it open during the rain and all that stuff, which is pretty cool. All right, so if you have seen any of my other walk around truck videos and stuff like that, you'll know it's pretty much the same. I'm running the Kenda Cleaver tires, the Raceline wheels. Uh, and I'm running the Falcon suspension. So, also I am running a, the Alcon 3-leaf out-of-leaf. So basically the Falcon suspension is helping out a lot because it does have the adjustability in it. I don't know if you can see it in there or not. Probably not. But it has the three settings. So right now I have it on the middle setting for the, for the weight. And I did just add the Firestone Ride Right airbags which I knew it would help out, but make this thing ride amazing. So with those airbags, I literally don't feel it back there. The suspension works great. Um, the truck sits level and it's helping out a lot. So those I have on there and they are plumbed to the back and I can feel the bags right here in the back. And again, it sits pretty level. I've got about 25 pounds of pressure in the bags and it seems just right. I measured out um, the distance before I put the camper on from the center of the hub to the top of the fender just to see what my measurements were and I pumped it to basically half an inch of that because at, without no weight and stuff like that my truck has a little bit of a rake but now with a little bit of weight half inches off of that it's, it's perfectly level. So let me talk about the outside of the camper a little bit. So this is a four wheel camper. This is a what's known as I guess a Ranger model is what the previous owner told me. So on these campers the back of the camper basically used to come out to maybe about here and then it sat down low. Um, so it went to like the bottom of the bumper on the old Ford Ranger trucks. It was basically built for the Ford Ranger trucks. So I have it sitting on my Tacoma. So the bed sides are a little bit high for this. So what I have done is I've added a wood platform that I built that it is sitting on. And that basically raises it up about two inches. And that gives me a perfect amount between um, the bed rails and the camper. So 
he completely rebuilt this at the end of this video i'm gonna throw in a slideshow of some of the pictures that he sent me because he basically did like a frame off restoration of this camper so he stripped it completely down to the frame and redid everything the only thing that is actually original is the framing and the roof skin on top everything else he redid so you can see it's got the smooth siding it doesn't have the the textured finished sides that some of the four-wheel campers you see have he added the window brand new window on this side he put the titan jacks on he redid the the lights that are on the outside um what else so he put a brand new door on the on the camper all hardware everything is all brand new so handles brand new the latch that holds it i actually added this but he had it that's brand new the lights are all brand new and then again on this side is just basically a blank canvas so all smooth sided and i have pictures and all that stuff so i know where the framing is on the inside so i can mount stuff to the studs and it'll be pretty rigid all right so right now i'm going to go inside and we're going to pop the top and then i'll give you a walk around on the inside if you do notice mine does not have the um the helper shocks that a lot of the campers have that go from basically like the middle up to the top to help um raise the roof but from what i've noticed so far is i don't really need them if i were to add any more stuff to the roof or something like that i may need them to help get it up there but right now it's actually not bad so right now what i'm going to do is put the camera down and pop the top All right, guys, so I got my camp kind of set up, so I'll take you on the inside, show you what the camper looks like. First thing I always do is basically latch the door open just so it doesn't swing and hit the jack bracket here. Show you my camp setup real quick. Just a little Walmart table, Walmart chair, Walmart seven gallon jug of water, and then I can put my, my burner stove on there and cook. So let's go on the inside. So. First thing here is all the windows have shade and this does have a screen so we will open it up here and I have basically just a little ladder that helps me climb up and into the inside here so let's climb up in here and I will show you around so it's kind of dark and turn on some lights all right so we got some lights on Let's open this up a little bit. Here we go. All right, so starting from basically the right side here, I do have, it's a shell model, so I will be doing the build out on it. In here is basically where the ladder straps into. And it Velcro's shut just to hang on to it. I have a little tiny garbage can that I bought for the inside here. And then again, all the windows do have shades on them. So I'm actually going to open up this one too, just because it's a little bit warm in here. So that one is open now. All the windows are Velcro. And if you've seen all the other four-wheel campers, it's pretty much the same. So you have the clear piece and the blackout piece. I do not have a thermal pack in here, but I am looking maybe at getting one soon, depending on what it feels like camping in the colder weather so up top here what I'm opening up is my Dometic fan uh, actually max air fan sorry not Dometic and so it has a bunch of different features and settings and stuff like that so on off uh, thermostat so if it gets 78 degrees in here it'll automatically kick on if you want to have it that way 
and then it blows in and out. We'll turn it on, see if we can get some hot air out of here. All right. And then I have a Zarges box here, and it basically just carries a lot of my camping stuff in there. There's some food, um, some other stuff in there too. The corners here, the sides, they do lift up. There is a little bit of storage in here, not deep, um, but enough to store some little stuff in here. I do want to add a table in here and do the, I forget what they call the mount, but basically the one that it could pop on and off, a lagoon mount. And coming on to this side, so this is a box that the previous owner put in. It basically just some storage and then it holds a blue sea fuse panel. So what I'm gonna do is relocate that, take out the box uh, to give me some extra room here and then move the blue sea panel down underneath the fridge here because there is a cabinet here that's got a lot of room. So I'm gonna basically just build a little wall, mount the blue sea fuse panel there, um, redo those switches. Those switches there are what controls uh, the outside lights. And then this one just is a voltmeter so we can see how much power we got. Coming here to the right. Oh, also, when I get rid of this and I build a cabinet, which I'll talk about later, I basically want to have this space here. I'll leave the fridge where it's at. Leave this space here where I can slide in and out um, my two burner stove. So let's put that back in there. So I do have a little temperature thing and you can see it is 82 in here right now. But outside I believe it's about 75. So we'll see if this cools down. So right now this is uh, my Dometic fridge I just bought. It is a CRX 65 and it fits in this area perfectly. So I have it basically strapped down at the moment on both sides. And I don't have it wired into my house battery yet. Um, I'm just testing it out. I do have a new system coming that I'm replacing my house battery stuff with, with uh, some new energy stuff. So right now I have it plugged into my Jackery 1000 and that's way more than enough to power it. And so basically it has a lock on it, swings out open to the right, which I like. And then it's got a lot of room. So I've got four drinks here. I've got some more up in the freezer there. I've got a public sub with a lot more room, some more drinks underneath, and then dinner down here in this little cabinet here. So the freezer is there, or the fridge is definitely big enough for me and to store enough food for a couple days for sure. I really like the size and fitment of it. Over here to the right, so under here again, there is more storage, same thing, just a little bit, not nothing too crazy. Um, what I want to do is basically maybe extend this out a little bit, cut this in half so you can still access some storage and build a countertop basically that goes around the top. Uh, it would have to sit underneath these bed um, braces, uh, but basically it would have a sink and just a countertop to where I could cook in here if I needed to, if the weather was bad or if it's like freezing cold outside or something like that. I basically could shelter inside here and cook and have my water and everything like that. Um, moving to the front here. The previous owner did build this. So normally the shell campers are basically just your cabinets here to the right and left. Usually there's nothing here in the middle. So he built a box here in the middle. So I would... All right, there we go. So I got it propped up now. So basically this is all storage. Uh, right now I have the Coleman stove down there, an extra fan, first aid kit, some bungees, but there's still a ton of room for pretty much anything else I wanted to put in there. Um, and then here on the right, I have the house battery. So it is a 100 amp hour AGM battery with a Renergy solar controller. Uh, sorry, it's kind of dark right now. And it does have the power switch to turn power to the house on and off and again right now 
that's the current setup it powers basically the fan and the lights inside and out i will be swapping that out for some new Renji stuff that i've already gotten but that will be on another video and i'll kind of go over what i have to replace that stuff in there moving on up i don't know if i showed or not but basically it has two lights in here they are leds so leds and at night it is crazy bright it's it's got enough light for anything you probably just only need one and they actually you can have just one on or both and they're led so they don't draw a lot and then here is the bed so and the extra cushions the bed does pull out so you can pull it all the way out if you want to and it comes all the way up to these stoppers here so the bed is a giant bed if you want it to be um, again my camper is not as wide as some of the other ones so i believe it measures just at like 70 inches wide so for me i can sleep up here because i'm a side sleeper so i can basically sleep on my side and not fully stretched out and i could leave the bed like this put the other cushions down here and have all the open space in here or if i really wanted to or if there's somebody else with me or something like that i could extend the bed all the way out and then probably sleep on it basically north to south and then you have enough people uh, enough room for two people for sure another part that was original to this camper and if you see the newer ones now the newer ones just have a wood like two by four they use to push up the front of the camper this one has one of these older type metal braces which i actually like they it feels really sturdy um and it pushes basically from the two sides there instead of just kind of in the middle not that the other one there's anything wrong with the other one or anything like that but i just like the style of this one it's got a nice handle on it to push out all right and then so basically the view looking forward usually a lot of campers have a mirror up there there isn't one maybe i'll put one maybe i won't um but there's definitely a lot of natural light that you can get to come through these windows which is awesome and it is a little bit hot in here i'm starting to sweat it doesn't feel terrible with the highs supposedly out like in the knoxville area and stuff being in the mid 90s uh, again in here it's saying it's 82 outside it's probably about 75 76 so i think i'm gonna go outside jump in this stream but that is the walk around of my camper so far if you like it uh please give the video a like subscribe there's going to be more stuff happening to the camper again we're building out some stuff here kitchen counter new energy stuff coming in to help support the new fridge and all that stuff and then on this side i'm not sure some kind of a table i want to make some kind of a seating area probably but we'll see how we do with that so anyway i'm going to sign off here again if you like the video please consider subscribing and give the, the video a like thank you